Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, my name is Donna. And for those of you who are not new, uh, thank you again so much for coming back and continuing to support my channel. I really do appreciate it. Thank you to everyone who clicked on this video. I know that you don't have to, so it warms my heart so very much that you do. Today, I am doing my January empties video for you, and I have a ton, a ton of product, and I don't even know really how this happened. I don't feel like I used more throughout the month, but I'm going to start here. So this is the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mask. I received this in BoxyCharm uh, last month, so December's Boxy Lux box, actually, no. January's box. I received it in January's box. Uh, this guy was super milky. It dripped everywhere when I took it out. I have notes right here so that I remembered to tell you guys. It's not as fragile as most sheet masks are. It really does feel like it's made out of a fabric of some sort instead of that um, weird paper that most sheet masks are made out of. It was super cooling. I put it onto my face, and my face at one point felt so cold that it almost burned. But I feel like that's probably because of my super sensitive skin, not because of the mask. My skin afterwards felt amazing. The day after, it still felt <laughs> amazing. Two days later, it still felt amazing. And if these guys were not so expensive, I would probably consider purchasing some more of them, but they're a pretty expensive sheet mask, so that won't be happening. I do know, I can tell you, I haven't purchased any of my sheet masks on my own with my own money. I know that I get most of my sheet masks through BoxyCharm and Ipsy, so I haven't purchased any on my own, so I probably am not going to start with a $12 Tatcha sheet mask. Uh, the next thing I have here is this... Bath & Body Works Afternoon Apple Picking Gentle Foaming Hand Soap. If you guys are familiar with my channel, you do know that this is my favorite hand soap on the planet. Not this one in particular, but the Gentle Foaming Hand Soap from Bath & Body Works. And I will continue to repurchase these kind. This one was not my favorite scent, if I have to be honest with you. It ended up going from my bathroom onto my kitchen sink counter because I don't wash my hands as much at the kitchen at the kitchen sink the great part about these gentle foaming hand soaps is that they last this the smell on your skin lasts forever not forever but for a very long time so because i didn't wash my i don't wash my hands as much at the kitchen sink as i do in the bathroom i moved this to the kitchen sink counter because i just didn't like the smell was just too overpowering for me it does smell good it definitely smells like an apple orchard, but it's like that super sickeningly sweet apple smell instead of like a crisp apple smell. So not my favorite scent. I will probably not repurchase this scent, but I will always repurchase these soaps. The next thing I have for you is this Eos Shave Cream. This has been my go-to shave cream for quite some time now. I was using a Gillette shave shower and shave gel I think it's called or shave and shower cream something like that I um learned of that product by watching Jessica from Jam Beauty or Jessica Braun and I loved it but I couldn't find it anymore and this is in my local Walmart it's also at Ulta so I can purchase it with points at Ulta if I so choose oh this is why this basket feels so full so I did end up finishing one of these Cinema Secrets Makeup Brush Cleanser Bottles. I get the giant bottle every time there is a sale at Sephora because this is the most amazing brush cleaner. And I clean my brushes between each use, which is probably a little excessive, but I use this in a spray bottle. I have a little spritzy bottle that I put it into to clean in between each use just so that my brushes don't get gross and this is super gentle to them it does have a little bit of a vanilla scent to it but I find it's more of a chemical vanilla scent yeah it's definitely more of a chemical vanilla scent but it doesn't smell bad by any means and it is 
so amazing. So for those of you who clean your brushes on a regular basis, this stuff is pretty awesome for in between. If you're not using this yet, you really should. For in between uses or just deep clean uses, this stuff is pretty, pretty great. And that's why this basket was so full. <laughs> The next thing I have are these. These are the Precision Beauty Skincare Solutions Makeup Removing Cleansing Wipes with Argon Infusion. Um, so I, I don't use makeup wipes like normal people do. Like I don't use them to clean off my makeup. The reason why is because I don't, I feel like they leave my skin super dry, but I will use them for purposes of, you know, swatches and videos or to take makeup off my hands when I'm doing my makeup in the morning or to wipe out the fallout off of my eyes if I have any before I put on my foundation. So I don't know that I needed argon infused <laughs> makeup wipes, but I do purchase one or two packs of makeup wipes, any brand of makeup wipes from TJ Maxx every single time I'm there because there are 60 wipes in each one of these packs and they're $4. And I find that to be pretty phenomenal. I will maybe not repurchase this one, but I will definitely repurchase makeup wipes from TJ Maxx that come in this format just because of that reason, if nothing else. The next thing I have is this e.l.f. Hydrating Gel Melt Cleanser. I did have this in a fails and flops one month. I can't remember which month, but I will link it up here in the cards. This milk, I hated this. I hated this so much. And I like e.l.f. products. I really do. But, whoops, I just dropped the lid. Um, you'll see it is completely empty. There is quite a bit in here, which I can't say for, like, the green clean that we just got in a boxy charm not that long ago there's not very much product in that one this one had a ton of product and it lasted me for quite some time but i uh, bought it because it looks super fancy it does have you know a really cool container i kept it in my shower and used it while i was showering for makeup cleansing because I just didn't find that it worked super amazing. I had to put it on my face, rinse it off with water, and then put more on my face and rinse it off with water. And sometimes my face didn't end up as clean as I wanted it to be after even two uses. So I just, I bought it because I wanted to try the melt cleanser formula and I hated it. So now we have that green clean one and I'll use that one up too, but I probably definitely will never repurchase this one. I can't see myself being a huge fan of milk cleansers, period. So I don't know that I would repurchase one at all. The next thing I have in here is the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Crush Body Fragrance Mist. Those of you familiar with my channel know that I don't really use perfumes on my body, but I do use these kind of things in my car because I have six kids and kids smell bad. So I did put this in my car. I used it in my car until it was gone, and I have another one that I received in, I think, a uh, holiday pack that I received from, that I purchased from Sephora. So that one will go in my car to replace this one. It lasted quite a while and I used quite, quite a few squirts, but as you can see, it is completely gone. It smells so good. Even just taking the lid off of it. This is, if I used body fragrance mists, I would definitely use this one on my body, but we're not allowed to wear perfume at work. So there's that. Along those same lines, I got this in that same pack that I was talking about, the Sol de Janeiro holiday pack. It is the Brazilian Foreplay Mo Moisturizing Shower Cream Gel. I will say this one did not have a whole bunch of product in it, so it was super disappointing that it didn't last longer than it did, but this smells a little different than the cream and the spray, if you like these. This one smells a little bit different. Not gross by any means. I do, I did use it <laughs> up, obviously, but, um, and I loved it, but it does smell just a tad bit different. 
the smell stays on your body for such a long time and I appreciate that because even though I love those foaming cleansers from Bath and Body Works I can say that their shower gels the smell of them don't last on your body for very long so this was this was a good change of pace and it's the smell stayed on your body forever I don't know that I will put, pick up a full size of this though this is just a little tiny little tiny guy that came in that pack I think it's like a mini or something it is 3.0 fluid ounces so there was quite a bit in it but I don't know that I'd pick up a full-size version but it was awesome um, some items that I put in here just because I need to quit using them they've been in my they've been in my collection for far too long are a couple of mascaras I have the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara everybody knows this mascara this is a good mascara I'm not I'm not really a fan of it if I'm being honest with you it does transfer onto my cheekbones so I wasn't a fan of that it also flakes really badly and even when it was new it flaked really badly so I'm not I know this hmm. I do believe this is past its three month prime in which you're supposed to get rid of mascaras but I always hold on to mascaras a little longer than three months I know that you're not supposed to I get that but even when it was brand new it flaked and it just wasn't my favorite I do find that it gives my lashes a lot of volume so that's the saddest part for me is getting rid of it when I really do love it as a mascara I just don't like the flakiness of it and the fact that it ends up on my cheekbones I cannot stand that about mascaras another one that is in here because it's just too old is the Maybelline Total Temptation I bought this well YouTube made me buy it I can't remember why I bought this necessarily I find this to be a drier formula for mascara this is what the wand looks like it's not a bad wand it does give some good volume I think I got it because of Samantha March if I remember correctly it's not a bad mascara I did like it I will probably clean off the wand and save it for some mascaras that I don't love the wand for but sorry guys my eye is watering it's driving me nuts always this eye always this eye but um it's just old and it needs to go at the point that I had these two mascaras open I also had like probably five or six more mascaras open and that's just too many and these guys got lost in the shuffle so the next thing I have on in here is this Bobbi Brown Extra Repair Foundation. This is just a little like sample of it that I got in a eBay purchase two years ago almost at this point and I hated it <laughs> so I never used it and now it looks like that so I opened it up the other day just to see I was going I was doing a foundation video and um, yeah that's scary so I'm getting rid of this guy I didn't use it up but I also didn't like it very much let me know maybe because I purchased it from eBay it might have been a bad you know sample in the beginning God only knows so let me know if you've tried that foundation by Bobbi Brown and what your thoughts on it were I'd be interested to know the first time I wore it it really wasn't that bad and I really kind of liked it but then the second time I wore it I hated how it looked on my face so. so the next thing I have in here is another mascara again a super old mascara this is the L'Oreal Lash Paradise uh, the waterproof version of it again this one ended up on my cheekbones it flaked a lot I don't mind it but it is a lot um I found it to be very similar to the better than sex mascara and the wand is also like roughly the same kind of wand as the better than sex mascara I just liked that one better and quit using this one once I got that one in my in my collection and like I said at the time that those two were open this one was also open there were you know probably four or five other ones that were open and they just kind of got lost because I found other ones that I was using that I liked more 
And the last mascara, I believe, is this one. This is the Tarte Tardis Lash Paint. This one I actually used up. I was a super big fan of this mascara. This is what the wand looks like. I might actually choose to clean this wand off and use it with other mascaras that I like. I loved the wand. I loved the mascara. And I'm not a huge fan of most Tarte mascaras, but I did find that I loved this one. This one I used up. This is the reason why those other three are in here and not completely used up <laughs> because I got this one in a box charm, fell in love with it. I purchased a backup. I have the backup in my drawer currently. I haven't opened it yet because I do have other ones that I am using right now, but I am tempted often because I do love this mascara. The next item I have in here is actually a project pan item for the year. Um, last year and it is the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion. I think when we ended that, um, when I did the finale on that, I did say that there were a couple more uses in here and I was going to get those uses out of it before I tossed it and I definitely did. This isn't necessarily my favorite eyeshadow primer formula, but it's also not my least favorite eyeshadow primer formula. I find that it works amazing. Um, but I prefer a less creamier version of eyeshadow primer. I love eyeshadow primer sticks more than I like eyeshadow primer creams. So not my favorite, by far not the worst. I hated, hated this wand inside of it. I found that it was easier to apply if I just squeeze some out onto my fingers and then put it onto my eyes. And that is probably the reason why I like sticks more than I like creams because I hate using my fingers for eyeshadow applet or eye or makeup or any kind of applying of anything on my face. I hate using my fingers and I will do everything possible to not have to use my fingers to apply any kind of makeup product. And this one I found just worked better on my skin if I use my fingers. So for that reason, I didn't like it, but the next thing I have in here is a, a hand cream that is so old, I'm not even sure I can read it. I do remember that I got it from Bath and Body Works and the fact that it's got a Bath and Body Works tag back here, it, that tells me that story as well. It is a Shea Cashmere Skin Cream. I, I can't tell you what any of the words say because it's, it's gone. But um, this was quite possibly the best smelling, the best smelling hand cream I have ever had in my collection. It's, you can still kind of smell it even though it's empty. And I loved it. And I kept it in my purse forever, obviously. That is why it looks like this. I kept it so close to my heart. <laughs> because you can't get it anymore and I wish that you could. It smells so good. The next thing I have is actually an eyebrow product. It is the NYX Professional Precision Brow Pencil and it looks like this. I really do love this brow pencil. It's one of my favorites. NYX has very quickly become my favorite eyebrow product. It has a nice like rectangular tip. I don't know if you guys can see that. But it also has a really nice spoolie on the end that comes to kind of a fine point. It reminds me of kind of a mascara wand, but I love the spoolie on this guy. If I don't purchase this pencil for any other reason, it is for the spoolie on this. Quite possibly the best spoolie I've ever encountered on an eyebrow pencil. This one was great for filling in. I used their micro brow pencil for actually lining out my brow and then use one of these for filling in. It had that nice rectangular tip, so it got those, you know, hair-like strokes here in the front too. I would typically buy these two at a time, one in a darker color, one in a lighter color, one for the beginning of my brows and one for the tail of my brows, and I just find that it works amazing. It works for me like that of uh, an Anastasia pencil. So I started purchasing these ones instead of the Anastasia, the Brow Wiz, and the Precision Definer pencil uh, because they work just the same. I love their um, shade range more. 
I find that the pigmentation to them is better and I just I like the formula more I like the spoolies more so and they're half the price so I started purchasing those but I ran out of this guy I haven't replaced it yet but I will one thing that's in here just because it keeps falling apart this is a brush by true beauty that I purchased while I was visiting my daughter in the Seattle area and I did that because I forgot like my blush brush my contour but I forgot a lot of brushes when I went to visit her this guy I might glue this back together actually because I really love it but it is it's just a cheap brush set that I got at TJ Maxx and it it just came apart so if I can figure out a way to glue it back together without damaging any other part of the brush, I will do that. It was my favorite brush to put on um, blush, but I do have some Luxie brushes that are nowhere close to this same kind of, you know, brush that I also love for brush app, blush, Jesus, blush application, but... I really liked this brush it was super soft it came in a set of five of them and I still have the other ones that I use frequently it's just so soft and it's pretty uh, yeah so if I can figure out how to glue it back together without damaging the rest I will do that the next couple things I have in here are a couple sample size items this is the philosophy miracle worker eye cream Miraculous Anti-Aging Retinoid Eye Cream. So this I got in a uh, Philosophy Miracle Worker set that I purchased. It looks like this. It has a little pump on it, which I found was super convenient. It, like I said, fingers. I hate using my fingers to, you know, get things out of containers and whatnot. So that worked really well for me. But I don't really think it did anything. <laughs> for my eyes so I will not repurchase the full size it wasn't that big of a deal to me uh, the next thing I have is another sample 100 point perk of the Dior uh, Hydra Life triple impact makeup remover um, I love this stuff I love it and every single time I see it on Sephora as a hundred point perk I get one <laughs> Because I love it <laughs> so I won't purchase the full size though because I get makeup removers for so much cheaper and now have a favorite in my mix that I can get for drugstore prices so I'm definitely not going to purchase that full size but I do love getting them as a hundred point perk the next thing I have in here is actually the first item in my Project Pan for the year that I've been able to use up. And we knew that going into Project Pan, which I'll link up here, that this was almost gone in the first place, which is why I put another one in there. This is the Naked Skin Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer. I did end up taking the stopper out of this guy and used this bad boy up. It took me an additional, what, two and a half weeks since I filmed my Project Pan video to use the rest of what was in here. I found that taking the stopper out enabled me to dig down deeper with a brush and get the rest of the product out of here and I love doing that and I learned how to do that I think from Raw Beauty Christy if you guys are not doing it you absolutely should this is a good concealer I don't mind it I do have others that I prefer in my collection and cover more but this was a I mean it's a good it's a great concealer I find that it matched my skin tone super well this is in light neutral it matched my skin tone super well it didn't dry down awful it didn't make me look a hundred years old like the Tarte Shape Tape but it also didn't cover like the Tarte Shape Tape so it's kind of back and forth for me like I love it but it doesn't give me the coverage that I want I have some supreme eye bags going on and they're hugely discolored so I like that to be covered up and this just didn't do that much to cover up the discoloration. The last thing, you guys, God, there was so much. The last thing I have in here is this. It is the LMS Pro Collagen Marine Cream that I got in my Boxy Lux in December. So I have had it for six weeks. 
and today, uh, well, approximately six weeks, I guess, because today, as I'm filming, January 31st, I did use the last of it. I will say that it doesn't have as much stuff in it as what it appears to have. I love Elemis products. I love this container. It is so sleek and just beautiful, but it looks like you have this much cream and you actually really don't. If you guys can see the inside there, that little where this sticker is, is pretty much the size of the actual container that contained the cream. So there wasn't very much in it. For the price of $89, I think this guy was, $89, you know, moisturizer. It was awesome. I loved it. I felt like it gave my, my face a lot of moisture, but I can't spend $89 every six weeks on a moisturizer. I just can't do it. And that is what I would spend if this were my go-to. Even the Paracone MD one that was a $200 moisturizer or $179 moisturizer lasted me longer than six weeks. This was super thin and the Paracone MD one was a lot thicker. So I felt like you had to use more of this to, you know, put the moisture in your face, especially if your face is super dry or if your skin, I should say, is super dry, it will take a little bit more of this because otherwise it just feels like it sinks into your skin and your skin is just as dry as it was when you put it on in the first place. I think uh, a handful of times I went in with this, let it sit on my skin for a good five, 10 minutes and then ended up having to go in with some more because I just didn't feel like my face was as moisturized as it could have been. So I would not repurchase this. I certainly wouldn't repurchase this $89 every six weeks. That's just not going to happen. My camera died. Well, no, it filled, so it wouldn't let me record anymore. I can't remember where I was with this, but I can't afford to repurchase this every single you know, month and a half at $89. And there's just not very much product in here. This is a very deceiving container. With that being said, you guys, that was my empties for the month of January. I do hope that you guys enjoyed it enough that you're considering liking the video. Uh, giving it a big thumbs up does help my video be seen, I guess, by other people and does help YouTube understand that my videos are being watched even though I'm a super small content creator. Um, I also hope that you guys liked this video or liked me enough that you would consider subscribing to my channel. Even if you don't subscribe, please shoot me a comment down in the comment section. Let me know what you guys thought of all these products. And like I said at the beginning of this year when I did, I think, the empties for December, I will be keeping a lot of the empties for the end of the year grand total of the empties that I went through for the year 2019. I think I'm also going to keep skincare items in that, but I probably won't keep things like this. I mean, that just... It feels silly. So let me know what you guys think about that. What products should I keep? What products should I not keep? What are you interested in knowing what I've went through and what I haven't went through at the end of the year as far as what should go into that total? I would really be interested to hear from you guys. Thank you so much for joining me today. As I said earlier, it warms my heart that you guys chose to click on my channel. I know you absolutely don't have to. Uh, so I feel super privileged that you clicked on my video and came to watch it today. Until next time, guys. Bye.